Evening all, and welcome back to Factory Town Grand Station, where I haven't built any more of these yet, or moved any of these overall, or done pretty much anything with them, uh, because I want to convert everything over to be packages first. I think that's probably the better way to do things. So um, every item at the moment is being switched to package goods, and then as they're being filled up, they're being transported around. I did drop this down to 99, so that should actually be on, which it is, so that's fine. Uh, so we're now dealing with just 100 and go, which means I'm probably gonna redo these barns and just have them as default, because by default they hold 200. So I might just go with the 99. If there's 99 in there and 99 in there, then we're good. I still don't know what I'm gonna do for actual goods for myself, because in order to build things I need like planks and if I convert all the planks to package stuff we're not going to have any so I need to figure that one out but I kind of want to just convert everything over to planks uh planks sorry to packages yeah. um so this will be packaged that package but you see me do it once here it took a long time because we had to wait for the station to empty and then we had to wait for other bits pieces to go so I'm going to do it off camera. I'm going to do it between the two here. Um, we're going to... I'm going to empty these stations out. And then uh, we'll, we'll sort of... We'll take it from there. So, uh, yeah. Let's um, let's go from being non-packaged to uh, packaged. Right. So, uh, I'm doing okay for the packages uh we have got pretty much everything converted over now there's some things that aren't working um pretty much everything is converted to packages now i'm just waiting for these to empty of their normal goods and then the packages will take over i just need to monitor stuff going on there but we have a problem a big big problem we've had a major rail incident where i'm confused by this uh for some bizarre reason this train this grain train has decided to try and go up here and i'm not sure why i think i figured it out but um there's all the trains i'll, I'll give you a sec to have a look at that to see whether you can figure out exactly what happened there Okay, so you got it? You figured it out? Because it's unique and I don't think it's going to happen again in quite a while. Um, my guess is whilst this train was coming in, this uh, train dropping off the, the, the logs, uh, this one, our grain train that was coming back empty, ran into it and stopped. Because it ran into it and stopped as it was passing by, this train coming out of this station here with the nails stopped right here and it just so happens that another train that came along and ran into it our coal train which is empty because we have a coal problem um is just the right length to then block off this entrance which means the grain train would have gone i can't travel on on which way can i go i'll go left and that's just caused everything to break everything to go wrong it's a very unique circumstance I could fix it by simply moving one of these over. The exit to this I can move over by one and that would just fix it. Or I can move this stop over by one as well. Just so there's no way it could block up and do that sort of thing. But it's uh it's kind of I think it will fix itself. If I just untick this here, that train will leave. This train will do this job, this train will do that job, this train will go here, there, everywhere, yeah, la, there's loads of smoke, I'll turn it back on again, and it will fix itself. Just a complete happenstance that, because a locomotive that stops here, that's exactly six tiles, it causes a train to be able to go, hey, I'm going to go down here, when it shouldn't be able to go down there. So, yeah. Uh, I'm I'm stunned that that actually happened. Absolutely stunned that that happened. But I, I thought I'd bring you back just to show that there. Um, 
I thought that would make sense. I'm still working on emptying things, as I said, going on there. So uh, there's all my trains going again. Yay! Because um, I was trying to figure out why our bread suddenly stopped. I was like, why did the bread stop? And there was a problem up here with it. And then I saw the problem down here with delaying stuff. I was like, oh, God, what happened here? Um, yeah, we had a, a, an issue up here. Um, a train. I can't remember what happened. Something, something happened with the train got blocked somewhere. Oh, no. I am. Um, let's go over to our corn here. Uh, I shrunk this back down to being only five tiles so that a train could come in, fill up and carry on. Of course, the train sat there with a the blocker on because it didn't need to go anymore. Uh, so another train come along and just blocked the whole route. So uh, we've added this, which isn't pretty, but it works. So going to leave it. Now, I think for this one, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm just going to extend this rail here. I'm just going to go out one more and then uh, ooh, do that. There we go. So now if a train does block here and that whole circumstance happens again, this is seven tiles, so the grain train or whatever train is next will just, the locomotive will just go over onto this tile here. And, uh, yeah. I do need to monitor these as well because when they actually switch over to packaged goods, packages are going to start wandering around. This is the best I can do to get three drop-offs going into three different places. Uh, it is kind of expandable as well. I could add more on. I want to so I could have five or six workshops in the center it does waste a lot of space around the outside it's fine for the time being I think it's fine I could do with upgrading this to be a metal belt but we don't have them yet so we can't do that um, and coal we're now sourcing from over here because we run out of coal as well so need to get mana bricks going because I really need to uh, be able to put things on the ground but um let's carry on I'll wait for these to empty out and then we'll be back once I'm finally switched over to using packages for everything and also keeping an eye on things that don't appear to be working there are some bugs in the system still particularly when it comes down to these things here some of the logic wasn't connected properly so uh, I had trains going around or carts going around with like uh, um, loads of cloth in them and couldn't put it anywhere I was like what's going on here Hang on, but yeah, so um, we'll be right back again. Okay, so I think we're finally at a stage where everything is kind of working. Um, we are wood is fine, uh, wooden planks uh, they're now on on a package of goods, which is good. Wheels are not that's way up there. I'm waiting for it to empty out before it goes. Uh, stone is a problem, and stone brick is a problem. Um, not because we but we just don't have them. That's that's why it's not yeah. uh, Iron ore was still waiting for this to empty out here. It's taken a while because things just taken a while to flow through uh, Iron ah, yes. Yeah, uh, iron Iron plates have kind of brought to a halt for a moment uh, and all the rest are They're there. They need a bit of a bit of looking at and checking things. Um, I haven't done anything with these yet uh, I th this is this is all right this is fine um was it this one is wrong i actually have the rail in the wrong place remember i had to move this one here um just a little while ago for you uh but it was two hours for me um yeah uh i had to move this one over here to make sure none of this lined up and went wrong that's because these are in the wrong place they're all over by one square they should be um to the left by one because they should line up with the entry point there uh, and I know that because I copied this and I pasted it here for this and it didn't line up and I couldn't figure out why so I moved the stations to line up and went oh yeah that's correct and then realized what was wrong so the apple pies on this side require four goods so it's not going to really be a problem but realistically these should all be over by one and uh, I should rethink all this in here to line up and I'm just going to leave it because I'm happy with it that's that's the thing uh, this is working. Are you okay? Yeah, you're fine. Um, but we have a problem where I ran out of stone brick. Uh, we had loads of stone brick in boxes, but we didn't have any available to use. So I had a, a, a blokey grabbing them from here and unpacking them and put them to the base. But that's not going to work long time. Um, long term, it's just going to fail. And stone, we're completely out of stone. So. Uh, stone is just a simple case of we're just not getting enough stone. That's the problem. We, we need more stone. I don't really know how to get more stone without putting another 
Another stone mining, I suppose. I suppose we could do that. Or we could up the peep in here. I don't know whether that would. Was it six? Was it five? I think it was five. Um. Yeah, I think the sixth one is because we've not got any happiness at the moment. Because our bread. Our bread is struggling because we're obviously waiting for the bread to be packaged. Um, where? Here. There we go. Uh, so we get big hits of bread in one go. Uh, but we don't really... And also, we're not actually selling any bread. Because, uh, yeah, I've got this little setup down here. And I thought I, I will actually go onto camera and do this. Because uh, um, I need to. I need to. I need to change this train. And I then need to make loads of little trains, maybe? I don't know. Uh, essentially, what I need to do is I need to send this uh, a train to come here. And it needs to pick up stone, wooden planks, stone bricks, iron plates, and I don't know if gold ingots are an actual thing. That we need to use to build anything with. Do, do, do gold ingots? I don't think enchanters are gold ingots, are they? Do, oh, it does actually tell me. Huh. Okay, so I don't think gold, but it wouldn't be a problem anyway. But I need a train that has that picks up all of those, goes along here, drops them off, unpackages them, and puts them into the base, so that we have a buffer for ourselves. Because otherwise, I can't build anything. I'm, I'm stuck building stuff, so. But the problem is that a packager can only un unpackage four items at once. So, I mean, that's okay, because we're after uh, one, two, three, four items here. Maybe five for the gold. But then we're going to need things like conveyor belts. They're going to have to come along. Uh, we definitely need reinforced planks. Rail tiles. Um, don't think I need anything in there. I will definitely need pipes and mana pipes, uh, magic rails. So I've got to essentially make a train for every one of these goods that I want to have ex access to to make things. So like this one, I need fertilizer because I'll need that for putting down crops. Not that we, we need that because we'll have more, so that's fine. Uh, wooden wheels, I need some of those because I need to put down wagons if I need wagons. Pickaxes I will need um, to build the mine things. Uh, th this sort of thing. So I need to build a little system over here that will drop off the goods to a station or several stations and then put them in the base. But I also need a system where we're going to unpack the bread as well. So this is kind of where I thought that these these little trains could come in come in handy. So uh, um, you are you go and get you're not going to get any bread because we haven't got any bread. That's fine. You come back. Come back, and then we'll we'll figure this out here. So the town's going to be here. Um, I'm not fussed about happiness. Um, that's not really something I'm worried about at all. So so if I if I was to put the base, well, the base can't go in the centre because we're three squares and there's only two, but. The packager can deal with four things at once. So I need one packager to one train station, output your four goods, and then those four goods go into the base. Then we need to do that again for whatever goods we need. And then I also need train stations for whatever we're selling here, which will end up being four different goods. I don't know what them goods will be, but we'll figure that out. Um, so maybe I'll put the base up here. We'll extend the rails out. Uh, I don't need you. Uh, although you can technically un drop stuff straight into package things, but I don't want to um, because you can't filter these to say what goods are in them. No, you can filter them to item crates, but you can't actually filter what goods are, are going into a packager. And if I just have them on the rail and the train just drops them off at the rail, uh, I don't know if it will actually because the train stop. Yeah, I don't, I don't think it will actually. So, uh, but if it did, it would drop them off and then. That package would fill up, and the next one would come along, and we'd have we'd have problems. We'd have all sorts of problems. Let's come along here and go back. Now, what I want to do is realistically 
move this away. And essentially build this, but not in this, in, in, in the old style, build this over here. Because we need to come off the track. So one, two, three, four. So locomotive, cart, 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 cart. There. And then we want a uh, train stop there. And then this one can come down and rejoin the line like that. Okay. And then if I, uh, I probably want to have a gap in between that, don't I? Would make sense if I um, copy that. Can actually paste that there. And once more, I can but I need to remove that right there. Okay. And then we kind of want to do it as well down here. We've done that straight away. Um, I need to filter these with numbers, but that that shouldn't be a problem. Let me revert that around there. So, uh, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. That should go like that. Okay. Right. Uh, we've got to put this train back onto the, uh, the tracks by the look of it. Off you go. You might become my my trained for testing purposes, actually. So you stay there for a moment. So then we want to put in. It needs to be over there, doesn't it? Bump, bump, bump. Okay, so there's our six stops for trains that need to stop to do things. So, okay. Now the problem to this as well is uh, the stuff we're selling is going to be in different numbers. So, for instance, we're selling bread. Bread is in number, this one here. So bread is in uh, five. But there's nothing else in there I want. There's nothing else I need um, for building-wise. So, that's a small problem. Um, because essentially that means one train station is just gonna be for bread and that's it. Which, uh, not ideal. Not ideal at all, really. But I don't know any other way around that. I don't know. I can't put multiple signals on one line. So, yeah, I mean, I can't. I might be able to. I might be able to if I... I did something special with the last one. So let, let's let's move this one. Being somewhat indecisive here because I don't really know what I'm doing. Uh, and we can filter you to stuff that we're going to sell and make sure we don't sell anything that we use. That could be a thing. So we were selling stone brick, but I could, for instance, say, let's instead sell wool or... Um, what else sells here? Warm coats, that'd be the thing we'll probably sell. Pickaxes, but we want to keep them for ourselves. So warm coats we don't need. So we could sell warm coats when we produce them. For our red coins, we'd probably need to sell something else before that. So maybe cloth or something. Yeah, I think probably cloth to start with. But what we can do with this last one is we, we can move the town. Let's do that again. Let's, uh, everyone, everyone, hold on to your hats. We're moving the town. 
uh, there. I don't know. Um, yeah, what we can do is we can move this train station to be like here or something. And. Have it on the end rail? I'm foreseeing problems with this. So so I've said we're gonna set warm coats. Okay, where are warm coats? Let's have a look see here. Let's let's double check this. Hold on. Warm coats are in here. Now, do we need anything else in this line for ourselves? We do not. So that would work. That would work. Warm coats would work. Bread does work. If however I was to say, well, I wanna sell um uh planks for instance, um, I know that's a terrible example, but if I want to sell planks, I need to pick up planks. Um, oh no, that's, that's that's a really bad example. Let's let's say we want to sell gold ingots because they're not used for anything, or, or gold ore, or whatever. Um, one of the ones that's on this line where we actually have goods we need for ourselves, because this is 001, we're going to have a sorter up here pushing these to 001. So that's going to be 001 train station. It's going to pick up the goods that we need it's going to unpackage them it's going to drop them in the base if also we wanted gold ingots it would be a 001 so the same train would then go up here and try and drop them off rather than going to the end which is not what we want so we need to make sure we're picking very specific stuff to sell that's not messing up with anything else i mean sandwiches would be great but we need fertilizer i can somewhat get around this However, which is what I was thinking of doing here. And that was putting a barn in here, have all these forges to go to a barn, forges, go to a barn, that goes into the packager and then on there. So when this backs up, the forge will, the, the barn will fill up with some goods for ourselves. The problem to that is that then we are the first link. So technically it's the last one to fill up. So if, if we use any iron, we take it completely out of our reserve first. Whereas if we do it this way, we have a completely separate reserve for ourselves. So I think that's the better way to go with this. Um, I just don't know what else sell. So with general goods are gonna be warm coats, so that's good. And we can sell other stuff as we need to. We can make exceptions here for things. We can figure out. We could even put it into the base and then take it from the base and sell it. So it wouldn't be a problem with it actually being mixed up. No, I wouldn't. I'm, I'm, I've just cured the problem that I'm making for myself anyway. So, yeah, yeah, that that would work. We, we'll just have it take from the base, and we'll just fill the base up with it. Um, because the base is a, a special circumstance. Um, each one of these will fill up, but if one of these is full, it will not start filling a second one up. It will just go, no, I can't have that. So. Uh, yeah, I'm going to destroy the coal. We don't need that. I'm going to get rid of the water. We don't need that. All I have to do is I'll come here and make sure that things are going well. Um, we've got 500 cloth, which we really don't need in the base. That would be very useful to take out and gear. So we could do with emptying this base, actually, and putting it in into the main system. But I don't really know how to do that with trains because we're filtering by number, not by item type. If we had a train per item type, that would make this train track massive. Because we'd have one barn per train per station, but it would make life easier. You could just set a train to stone brick and send him off opposite way, and he'd just go, hey, I drop on stone brick. No problem. Okay, so enough talking. Let's let's figure this out. Sorry I'm I'm going off on one, but I'm trying to explain my thought process as I'm going. Um I feel like they, I feel like I've said this before. But uh Overthinking it is a big problem. So, so this is 001. So let's uh, oh, let's turn off those, and we want to have in here. We don't need wood. That's never used. No, no. Barn, even even barns use a plank. So what planks? We want stone, we want 
stone brick, and then we want iron. And that's the first four. And if we need another one, we can always add them. I don't think we need gold, so I'm not going to bother with that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make you no filter, but a signal. We're going to add two carts to you, and we're going to filter the carts. Now, is it that filter or is it that filter? I don't remember. I don't think it matters. So we're going to go with planks. We're going to go with stone. Stone brick. And iron ingots. And then the base needs to go probably up here somewhere. I don't, I think I'm only going to need three of these. I don't think I'm going to need the fourth one. So, yeah, I need three of these for dropping off goods here. And then I've got these ones for doing stuff with whatever. So, like, bread is a special one. So, this station will just be bread. And then that's another one that will just be that. I could just put the station on the track itself and then have the trains go up into here and then whatever comes to the end bump there you go not a bad idea that probably makes more sense if i just literally snap that one on there and it's the very last one on the track then uh yeah then we'll make sure to filter this so it only gets the goods we want um So yeah, so for a minute, that's going to be warm coats. We'll, we, we'll sell something else before warm coats. Maybe cloth. We'll sell cloth. Cloth on there. Okay, there we go. So then we can have a train for that and train for something else. Now, where is this other... Where's our bread train? Is this a bread train? Yep, this is our bread train. So I'm going to copy you. Uh, now, you can come along. And we'll copy you in a minute when you're close to the fuel. I want to limit the bread train to one cart. So that's only delivering 20 goods at a go. And we got to keep an eye on him. Okay, and stop. Copy, copy you. And then we're going to move one of your carts off to there. We'll copy you again. And we're going to move one of your carts off to there. Um. Oh. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to trap you all at the end. To get you all done. Uh, I haven't decided what you're going to be yet. Your bread, you're fine. That's bread. So we want to be cloth. And cloth is number. I'm going to learn these off by heart eventually, but <laughs> right now I don't remember. Uh, cloth is this one here, which is number 8. 008. Cloth is 008. Awesome. And then you're going to be. Something the apothecary needs to sell. I don't think we need anything from the apothecary in our inventory, so we could sell anything we like from here. So I think we'll go with fish oil to start with, because that's really easy to make. So we'll go with fish oil. Not the train's gonna do anything. Um fish oil, thank you very much, Lee. Uh, and fish oil is number. Ooh, it's like the last one. Oh, wow. Yeah, we're a long way from making fish oil yet. Uh, number 11. 011. One pause. Go. Go. And you can all come to a stop. Stop and stop. There we go. That's there. Right. Now, did this train work? It's probably done its rounds. Okay, it's picked up. No, hold on, that's not right. Is that our train? That's our train. Awesome. So it picked up some planks, it picked up some stone bricks, and it's picked up some iron planks. All in weird orders at the moment because we're not actually getting any packaged goods for those other ones, so we kind of need to specialise things here. E, ah, oh, uh, ah. Uh, Problem. Problems, 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 Cop. There you go. Okay, so you can just stay there. You're going to come down here and ignore all these. 
then turn around and go back and you're fine that's not a bad that's not a problem you should go up there awesome you will drop off the goods and then you'll carry on awesome excellent just what the doctor ordered okay so um I'm gonna need another packager. I do have the stuff for this. Um, and what I need to do is I want you. Ooh, 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 here's 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 an interesting thing. Because we can filter this caravan. This caravan can do a lot of things for us. I don't know whether this will work. Um Bread is basic food, isn't it? Yeah. So we'll filter it for basic food, general goods, medicine, speciality goods. We've got a gourmet one there at the moment, but we're not going to sell sandwiches. I don't think. Because sandwiches were in with something else, weren't they? Sandwiches were with fertilizer. And I know we could run it in the base. I did say we'd run it in the base, but uh, uh, it's easy enough to do this way. So, yeah. So then you will deliver everything damn it it's not gonna work is it let me just say deliver everything no damn it no okay that's not gonna work i was hoping we could just pick up everything and drop it off but that's that's not gonna work for us we're gonna need separate ones for it so that's fine so unpack for crate um and that way Grab me a conveyor belt. Like so. I don't know why the grabbers keep being added to that. Um, uh, one wagon will do for the moment because we're only going to get one wagon. I need to wait for something to be in here. Like bread. There we go. Now bread is in there. We can tell it to go. And the town is not lined up properly with the train track, but hey ho. And any reason you're not selling goods? No. How strange. Anyway, we're going to sell bread. Awesome. So we're making our money again. Cool. And then we can send these off to pick up more bread and more bits and pieces as we go. So I suppose what we should do as well, we should filter this one to be fish oil. And turn it on. Oh, oh. No. Not that they're going to get anything at the moment, but yeah. Okay. For some reason we're getting another... Oh, what's this coming down? Oh, this is our... No, this is our train. So we're getting stone and stone bricks coming down. Awesome. Right. But what I want to do, oh, that got everything, is I technically want to have four outputs here. It does need to have grabbers on it, doesn't it? Yeah. Because I need to grab each one individually. Because if I don't, this will back up and then we'll probably run out of goods somewhere else. So, Oops, stone, and then we'll go up on top. Oh. Kind of funny, we don't have enough planks. Ah! Ah! Can you believe that? Wow. Um, and this one's going to be filtered with stone brick. Okay. Now, planks are still coming as... Planks, so they're not actually going to go in there. Bit of a problem. Um, and iron, iron is also coming as iron, so. Um, okay, no, I can't afford it because of, wow, I just really cannot afford anything. I'm, I'm I am absolutely flat broke. Uh. 
Okay, let's just put in a standard do and do that from grab. That's not I don't I don't want to leave it like that. That's not ideal for us at all. Right, um, I think we shall leave this like this. Uh, been a lot of overcomplicated stuff going on here today, and it's entirely my fault doing things this way. I need to also keep an eye on stuff. Why? Why does a stone train keep coming up here? Because there's a thing blocking it. Is that true? I need to figure that out. I need to figure out a better way of doing this. But with the double thing going on there, they, this can actually cause a complete blockage. So it needs to filter, but I just basically want to have a turnaround like back here somewhere. So we've always got up here and put an 01 turnaround in here, and then an 02, and so on and so forth. Yeah, uh, we'll figure it out. Okay, so we'll leave it like this for now and uh we shall come back later that's planks you're struggling for planks uh you're just taking your time making them which is fine which is fine it will eventually build up and you're taking your time making stone you're doing it as much as you can you're taking your time making that it's just, it, when you package goods it just takes way longer to do stuff um I could potentially have dropped them down to just having two carriages on each train and that would still work for us, but... Yeah. Oh, and I, I need to connect this up because this is otherwise going to stop working completely. Although we're very good for iron plates at the moment. So, um, but I will, I will connect this up. And, and uh, we'll leave this one here. We shall come back next time. And uh, I shall still try and figure this thing out. If anyone's got any suggestions as to how I can possibly do this drop off at the end I would be much appreciated for that because I don't exactly know what I'm doing here but yeah we'll just sort of make it up as we go and uh, see what happens right so thank you very much for watching I hope you've enjoyed this one and I hope to see you again in the next one and until then as always have fun